We all love cats. Grumpy cats, happy cats, orange cats, turtle cats, Russian blue, and hairless too. Big and small, we love them all. But there is one cat that's gotten the dull end of the feather wand. Once loved and praised on the same level of God, to being slaughtered for simply existing. Existing in a time when people were so afraid of their own shadow that they took it out on the innocent. I'm talking about the beautiful and mysterious black cat. Now, black cats are usually, or used to be, associated with bad luck, causing misfortune to those who came across their path. But that was not their roots. It was a lie. Propaganda to demonize others' beliefs. But before all the superstitions and the misconceptions, black cats held a much different role. A role rooted in ancient reverence and power. Close your eyes and imagine. Imagine a being who was fierce, a warrior, a protector, a guardian for her family, but also a symbol of love and fertility. That being is Beset, a goddess of Egyptian descent, often depicted as either a woman with the head of a black cat, or later on just simply a black cat. Due to her looks, status, and qualities being similar to that of a cat, but especially a black cat, cats were seen as a sacred animal by association, often given and shown such love and respect that some were even mummified as offerings to Basset. This deep connection between cats and goddesses wasn't unique to just Egypt, but also Freya. Freya, a goddess from Norse descent who was also associated with war, love, fertility, and cats, but also Scyther, or in other words, Magic. Magic capable of seeing and influencing the future. Magic that in best cases resulted in healing and protection, and in worst cases, cursing and harm. Magic that was also practiced by human women known as seeress, or in the Middle Ages, witches. As Christianity spread and overshadowed the old traditions and beliefs, the perception of magic took a dark and sinister turn as well as the perception of the once loved black cat. Away! Away, beast! Now in eyes of middle-aged Christianity, all cats were seen as being connected to witchcraft and the supernatural, mostly due to their nocturnalness and their relationship with Freya. But black cats got the brunt end of that fear. The color black, often being associated with the unknown, darkness and death, had become a symbol of evil. And so, Black cats were treated as such. We all know how witches were treated in the past. Some were burned at the stake while others sunk to the bottom of rivers. But they were not alone. Believed to be these witches' familiars, their guides and dark magic, their cats were there right beside them, suffering the same heartless fate. Luckily, with the Middle Ages long gone, the act of persecuting them also stopped but they can still be seen and associated with witches and magics because of their past. However, it is now in a much brighter and affectionate way. Instead of showing us how these cats were darkness incarnate, spawns of evil itself, we are instead shown what they once were, protectors, companions, and most importantly, love. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Lore, I'm an Anglerfish VTuber, and I put out videos like this every other Monday and a gaming-related video every Thursday. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing or even following me on one of my other socials. I hope you have a good day and bye-bye.